Okay, so this is going to be my second attempt tonight to talk about Roe v. Wade. Um, I, uh, I think it's stupid that people get excited about any kind of political thing that happens because um, we've known since the 90s that the news media was fake. And your precious president from, uh, you know, the, the past the past round, I, I liked him. I still like him. I, I like his personality, I'll be honest. I still like Trump. I still like him. I don't love him, okay? I don't love him. It's like he's... I, I like the way that he carries himself. But I'm pretty sure that he's a fucking con man. And so, I, I just wonder, like, who he's conning. Like, when people say, oh, he's conning the country. No, I mean, everything about this country is a fucking con, dude. And I feel like they're, they're literally using him to prove that. I really, really believe that, dude. But I still like him, even though that's, that's what the truth might be. But, you know, it's funny because liberals have been saying that from the get-go. But <laughs> they might actually be right about that, but they're just wrong about everything else. But I know that people would get mad at me because they'd be like, oh, well, you're not loyal to him or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I literally have like a, over a hundred dollars worth of Trump stuff, okay? I have a Trump coffee mug. I have a Trump bobblehead. I have a giant Trump flag. Keep America great or some shit. Some, some bullshit, okay? It's weird. It's weird because, you know, I tried to be a patriot. Just like I tried... I tried being a liberal. I tried being a libertarian. I'm not any of it, man. I'm like totally like full-blown anarchist, but it's more of like an agorist type of thing, which is more of an extension of libertarianism, but it's like libertarianism that has morality. So, <laughs> yeah, which is weird, you know? Like, because my biggest complaint about libertarianism is that it, there's no morals. You know, they claim to have all these ethics in relation to liberty, which I can understand but they don't have morals because they don't care like what that liberty could possibly entail and like all of the self-destruction that will ensue because of that liberty. And the best example of that is food, okay? Like people are just, I mean, and I don't want to sound judgmental, man, because I'm naturally skinny, you know, I'm so fucking small. But there, there are a lot of people that, uh, you know, I'm friends with people that, I see all the time that are are really overweight and you know I'm just concerned for their health it's more about that than it is like oh I hate looking at you because obviously I don't otherwise I wouldn't continue to hang out with them but you know it it's just a genuine concern just like if I wasn't eating enough people were like you need to eat you know why, why is that okay when people tell me to, I need to eat but I can't tell somebody you need to stop eating 